Hi, I'm uh, Mike Rafter and during all the lockdowns I concentrated on on plein air landscapes. Um, so within my 5k walking limit. Uh, the one thing I missed was life drawing um, and particularly here at Dunamase. So I made several attempts at drawing using Zoom but like technology is a disaster. But the one thing that struck me about it was that the uh, models are willing to embrace the technology uh, to keep their industry alive and like you know we as artists have to support those models. So this piece here is a kind of homage to the model and also the, the relationship we have with the model in history. You know we, we can look at uh, Goya being the modern nude was first Goya is really considered the modern nude and this is just a continuation. And there's a few references in this uh, picture to funding, um, how we would fund it online, etc., etc. So this is Modern Maha and subtitled Go Your Own Way or Go Your Own Way, whichever you want to call it. I'd also like to thank uh, Kevin McCann, fellow artist who is taking part in this exhibition for his work um, initially with the stretcher for this and also his work framing and his logistics in getting this thing in here. So thank you very much, Kevin. Hello, I'm Catherine Brennan, a visual artist from Port Leash and part of the Leash Art House Collective. These past two years have had a big impact on me and my art practice. In one way, having so much time off and being at home has afforded me time and space to dedicate to my art that I otherwise would never have had. I've had time to try new things like photography, sculpture and poetry to express myself and grow my work, which has been fun and rewarding. Unfortunately, I've also seen how quickly life can change, and like everyone else in the world, anxiety has absolutely overwhelmed me at times. My current work reflects this and is focused on love, loss and grief, and how the same strong emotions apply in both life and death. How strong yet fragile the heart is. My art has always been mood and colour based, but now I concentrate on the dual meanings of material and colour to process my emotions through art. In each piece now, you can see my journey through this process, the conversations I've had with myself and the eventual resolution of whatever mental conflict through that use of material, colour and written word, visual expression and written expression. Hi, my name is Rebecca Deegan. I am an artist who uses oil paints and charcoal to create surreal and atmospheric figurative paintings. The concept for this little set of paintings is coziness within the chaos. Despite all the conflict and craziness throughout this period of time, I could always find peace and comfort with my feline friends and learn that time spent with cats is never wasted. The big painting is a sort of hybrid self-portrait which was created with the help of a model Josie Deegan who posed as a reference for the figure through an online collaboration. The two little ones are spinning to further reflect the coziness within the chaos idea and how each day just kind of blends into the next like a never-ending cycle. My intention was to create kind of a dreamy lullaby effect with just an undertone of madness too. There are two natural motifs featured throughout the paintings. The first is lavender, which is a herb known for its calming properties and often used to help with anxiety and insomnia. The second is the sakura or cherry blossom, which I am so lucky to have growing right outside my home. And it represents renewal, rejuvenation and rebirth. And for me it serves as a reminder of the positive things that are yet to come.
Hello, I'm Kate Knowles and I'm an oil painter. I didn't start life as an oil painter. I was an ICU nurse for decades. So in this exhibition, I have a different perspective. Over the last year and a half, I've not only been working, but also painting. I haven't really been able to paint with any degree of emotional intent or expression because those emotions have been controlled in order to work in intensive care and all that that, that entails. The, these two paintings beside me are called Emotional Drift and they express eventually and finally the many emotions that I felt and I have seen in the eyes of other people in supermarkets and work and finally I felt that this was the communication of the emotions over the last year and a half and part of my collective thought. While I am in transition in terms of career to become a full-time artist this year, I had to resolve how I would express that time as a nurse in the context of COVID-19. And I have a piece which is simply called nurse. It's not just a noun, it's also a verb. So it's descriptive, but it's also a salutation to the, my many colleagues in intensive care over the decades. And I just felt that I needed to express that painting. And the fourth piece is a, an overview of time. Florence Nightingale would have not just been a nurse, but she was also a statistician. And she would have created a statistical means which was called the coxcomb. Nightingale saved lives with those statistics and it was all about infection control and hygiene and keeping people safe. The image that you will see in this painting is to the left is an impression of the coxcomb graph and then there is an iPad and there is a nurse who appears to be anonymous but present in a hazmat suit and the lamp at the back has probably got uh, an, a low energy LED bulb in it now rather than the, the candle or whatever of Nightingale's time. But I think it expresses an, uh, an historical path and consistency um, that the nurse has always been around and we will always be there in times of trouble and this is a resolution and a thank you and a very fond farewell to my profession in order to move on to the next one. Hi, my name is Ashling Brennan and I am the artist behind Natural Spaces. Natural Spaces was created as a response to the Leash Art House Collective group experience during COVID. During COVID, the group met online and we shared our creative process we shared our thoughts around our art and what we were making weekly with each other. In the process, I reflected on the spaces which I occupied during COVID times. One of those big spaces was the Zoom space, which I enjoyed sharing with other artists in this collection, along with countless meetings, family get-togethers, etc. Another one of the big spaces that I occupied during COVID was the natural space. And it was on one of those visits to nature that I encountered the, this group of leaves, 
which had formed together in their natural environment. I was inspired by how nature was bringing itself together and how it was forming over time. And I brought that piece of nature back with me to the studio. And I felt that this piece of nature reflected that connection with the natural space, which for me has been growing during COVID times. Angelina Foster, I'm a heritage artist and print maker and I'm a member of the Ishaar Shness Collective. Um, th this is my print, Le Kui Kiadfa, The Five Senses. Um, it's a four colour screen print and it was inspired by the language that was used during the pandemic and how this has amplified our senses, for good or for bad. Um, over the last year we have been warned of, of waves of Covid approaching. Um, so this print represent, represents the waves of COVID washing over our senses. Um, in the early part of the pandemic, our, our sense of touch was the first to be restricted um, when social and physical distancing was introduced. Um, and you might remember, um, and you might remember, grandparents weren't allowed to touch their grandkids for fear of transmission. Um, and our senses of taste and smell was said to be affected by the virus and then there was also our taste and smell was affected by the bacon frenzy if you remember that. Um, however I suppose I also believe that our senses were influenced in a positive way by Covid uh, with people appreciating the outdoors, the sights and sounds of their locality more. Um, so I, I, I styled the lettering as it, so I, I styled the lettering as waves if you like and then um, I wanted to get the, the flow and the texture of waves washing over our senses in the screen print here. Um, so I suppose with this piece, I would like to ask you um, how your sense, of, uh, your sense of sight, smell, sound, taste and touch were affected during the last year and a half during COVID. Hi, I'm Kevin McCann. Uh, this painting is the first chapter in a book that I'm writing in Isles, uh, Rose, Chapter One. It's about a beautiful woman who gets fixated on her new neighbour and rapidly descends into the addictive world of stalking.
My name is Mary Slevin. I'm a visual artist based at Mount Henry Art Studio, County Leash. The medium I work in is paint and stitch. I paint in acrylics and oils and when I stitch I create my own paper which I then use my sewing machine to put my mark on and I finish with paint. My inspiration comes from uh, within myself, the life I live and my surroundings. The three pieces that I'm exhibiting here have been created during lockdown, a time when uh, we were confined to our homes and their surrounding areas. The pieces are very influenced by nature and what was going on around me at that particular time. The first piece I'm going to talk to you about is bear. This is bear here. And what inspired me here was the trees in winter standing so majestic and proud in this cold winter time. It is painted on board and it's in acrylic. The second piece is this one here which is called Spring is Coming. This was inspired by watching the leaves appearing on the trees and the season changing to springtime. My final piece here is mixed media. It's called Twigs. And the inspiration for this piece came from a walk in the winter. I was walking through the fields and I picked up some twigs. I took them home and I used them as a tool for printing. And then I moved on and put some stitch. So this is the result of my efforts. Hi, my name is Monica O'Mara. Um, I'm a visual artist and I work mainly in ceramics. My work is influenced by geology, landscape and nature. This piece called uh, Containment, a 15-month odyssey, is my response to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's an abstract, multi-layered diary of restrictions, both societal and personal responses to the pandemic, along with the containment that restrictions have introduced in our lives. On first glance, individual elements may appear to be the same. In fact, each are unique, similar to our diverse society being asked to behave in a uniform way. Each component has a subtitle, signifying its story of a month in the pandemic from March 2020 to May 2021. Within each month are references to the national situation of lockdowns and restrictions, indicated by the repeated use of squares, along with the density of colour reflecting darker or more hopeful days. Additional space is used to indicate how we adapted to use the space in confinement we now worked within. I, like many, became much more aware of my natural surroundings on my daily walks and these journeys are also incorporated within the work. The final component, Another May, leaves us with a sense of the much more hopeful situation we thankfully now find ourselves in. <laughs>